Thank you, Jennifer. Well, what is old is new again, even when it comes to scams. Yeah, the con artists recycle those old tricks when they work well, so they can get more victims to give up their money. So Amy Davis is here this morning with a scam alert about three partic in particular that are duping folks. Yeah, because these are all scams that we've warned, pe warned people about in years past. But just in the last two weeks, we've noticed an uptick in emails about three of them in particular. This was our dream, and now it's taken away from us. This couple learned the hard way how easy it is for scammers to steal real estate photos online of properties for sale and then create their own listings as if they are the owners. Potential buyers or renters send deposits and down payments, only to learn later that the person they gave their money to is not the real owner. By then, the money's gone. Before sending any money, I would meet the prospective owner uh, at the home. When they meet you, ask the seller if you can take a picture of their ID. If they're legit, it shouldn't be a problem. He, he told me to take care of the fees within the next hour. This scam usually targets small business owners. They answer a call supposedly from the gas or electric company warning them they owe money. If they don't pay in a matter of hours using a gift card, their power or gas will be shut off. Take the time to hang up and call your gas or electric company directly at the number on your bill, not the number provided by the caller. They had me go to Walgreens and pick up iTunes cards. Scam number three is a phone call or email letting you know you can get a government grant, cash to help you through a difficult time, but you have to pay a smaller amount up front for processing. Of course, you give the gift cards, but never get anything in return. They take the gift card that you've just bought for whatever that dollar amount is. They're going to request the number on the back of the gift card, and then they're going to drain that gift card. Okay, so if you think these scams sound ridiculous and that you would never fall for them, good for you. But if you have an elderly parent or a neighbor, you may be able to save them from making a bad decision by sharing this information with them because we yeah. know a lot of people are still falling for them. Last week, an elderly woman who purchased $2,000 in Amazon gift cards from Kroger. Fortunately, she called before she sent them off to get her federal grant. Well, it's just that wow. fear, you know, and it's the unknown, yeah. and this person's bullying you on the phone. They just, mm -hmm. you know, you feel bad for them in that particular That's situation. Right, so. yeah. So we've posted all of those on Click2Houston as well. Thank Step you, Amy. Thanks. We appreciate the heads up always.